Hello everybody and welcome to my little studio here in Germany. I'm going to talk about wavetable synthesis again today. And this time I'm going to present four synthesizer plugins. Uh, here's the VPS Avenger, Pigments, Falcon and wavetable, uh, which is included in Ableton Live Suit. I think starting in version 10 probably. Here you see the user interface of a venture. And you, as you can see, I've already loaded a wavetable in here. But let's go back to the init preset. Yes, we want to initialize all settings. And you see we have the init saw waveform here. It's not a wavetable, it's a simple waveform. So what we can do now is we can drop a sample here. But as you can see, it opens the sample editor and it always interprets samples that you drop here as, uh, yeah, as samples, even if it's a perfectly cut wavetable. But um, as soon as we load a wavetable, and you see here the wavetable editor, if you drop a sample down here, it will interpret it as a wavetable. You see, we only see the first single cycle waveform and we can scroll through the waveform like we can with any other synth. Um, we only get this waveform um, visualization here. But down here you see the wavetable, of course, if it's a big wavetable, uh, there's not much to tell from this display, but you can do some some fade in and so on. Um, this window here shows how the wavetable is played. So from the first single cycle waveform to single cycle waveform number 256, or you can decrease the number of waves. You can here see here the green area is getting smaller and you can see here the numbers getting smaller too. So like this we have uh, 128 uh, waveframes in this wavetable. So we're using the half of the table. And if you turn it all up, all the way up, uh, you see the whole table is green. And that means you can scroll uh, through all the waveforms here with this index parameter. Uh, so to modulate this uh, index, you can see here, it starts automatically because you don't need an LFO. Um, the modulation uh, options in Aventure are somewhat limited, I should say. At this point, you can have lots of oscillators. I think uh, eight oscillators plus a uh, drum uh, sequencer. But uh, you only get, I think, three or four, four LFOs. Uh, yeah, compared to the eight LFOs you get in Vital or Serum or even the three LFOs plus Step Sequencer plus two MSEGs you get in uh, Icarus, it seems limited. But on the other hand, you also have, an, oh, the first one, of course, I can't delete. Uh, you also have uh, here uh, Arpeggiator, Drum Sequencer, Step Sequencer, that you can also use pitch envelopes here. You can use many, many pitch envelopes for each oscillator one. And you can put in many, many, many mod envelopes. And here you can do very similar things as you can do in the LFO uh, display or LFO editor in Serum or in the MSEG editor in um, uh, turn to Icarus. Let's delete these, we don't need them. So the modulation options in, in Aventure counting in all these mod envelopes, which can also function as uh, LFOs, are also pretty uh, extensive. Let's go back to our uh, editor. Here you see um, the FFT bins. Here, uh, of 
this this wave you have right now and here you have our wavetable um, display so to speak or it's one of the wavetable displays and here you can tell Aventure how it should um, scroll through the wavetables of course you can also put LFO curve points in here so you can you can tell Avenger to scroll through the wavetables um, in this window. And you even have more options here. I'm just going to show you this. The envelope you have here, the wavetable table position envelope, so to speak, and the sequencer. And with, uh, with the sequencer you can do some really interesting things. You see here, just place the sequence one time, but you can up the steps here. And you see it plays through all of them. And here you can put in, for instance, you can make it half. This one faster. So as you can imagine, this is especially nice for stuff like uh, bringing um, yeah, developments into um, highly complex uh, modulated sounds such as maybe dubstep wobble basses. Yeah, you can see um, all the sequences, uh, the, the sequence of envelopes you see down here, you can change from 0.5 to, I think, yeah, 16. And this is going to be played in sequence, like an envelope. So when you start a new note, it starts in the beginning again. I think we should transport, uh, post this a bit to 24. Maybe a little bit more. Uh, 12, I want, yeah, minus 12. Yeah, so here you have a nice uh, sequencer for your wavetable, wavetable uh, position envelope. And you can also like reverse the pattern here and do some other stuff with it, flip it, silence it. Or uh, go to high, mid or low levels. And yeah, that's about it. Um, let's talk about the morphing options next. So we have a nice FM morphing here, frequency modulation. And you can even use custom LFO shapes. So here you have the normal shapes that you can select and here you have custom shapes that you can use with uh, LFO curve points. You have to right click to delete points. And these shapes that you produce here you can also use uh, here in the FM modulator which is pretty nice. Let's maybe put LFO here a little bit. Just a little modulation so you uh, can see or uh, hear how the different waveform morphing options add up. Next is you can do uh, can use this 
great. Make some interesting effects with the free. Uh, with a free option. And of course you can turn off face lock. Yeah, with harmonically rich um, waveforms, it's not always that obvious. Uh, not that obvi uh, obvious what, what's happening exactly and how the sound is changed. Here you have some AM modulation. Use the sign or. to get chaotic use uh, smooth noise well, of course you can use the song and you see it affects the sound um, additionally to the FM modulation so let's use another oscillator at a different rate put it here See how it adds up now. Um, here you have some exciting, it's called, but it's like shifting the waveform to the left or to the right. Take another oscillator at a faster rate, put it on this. Right, it's too fast. Or well, maybe let's go for a very slow leg. Yeah, so this is another thing you can do. Here it pushes the waveform into the middle. And with the X side side to the left or right. Maybe something like that. Uh, the next is some kind of formant. Often. Let's put this in here. You see we already have uh, like two, four morphing options uh, that we're using in parallel. As you can see, this is some form of bit reduction. Use bits, rates, a uh, rate of both. So we modulate in this direction a little bit. Ah, I have the morph morph modulation on my uh, on my uh, Y parameter in the instrument because I'm using the module right now. Uh, it's my Y dimension in the instrument. So you might hear some uh, modul modulation. So well, let's do it. X. Ah, oh, yeah, you can. Okay, like that. Now it's off. Should stay the same now. Okay, what else to say? Yeah, here are the LFOs, as you, as you see, we just um, drag and drop them on the parameters like in Serum or Icarus or Vital. Uh, another, uh, the sixth morphing parameter that you can use in parallel is here some form of uh, windowed sync or sync pool. Sync at. Maybe let's put a mod envelope on this one. And up here. Leave this point. Oh. 
and click on anything. This is set to one shop, of course you can uh, set it to a loop. And as you can see with uh, just a basic uh, wave table that doesn't have a lot of stuff going on, it's just a, like a, a square-like uh, wave with uh, some switch off all the modulation of course but uh, you saw the concentrated wave table maybe I showed you uh, to you here in pigments looks a little bit like uh, like a, a square wave with uh, some peaks uh, added or subtracted at some points so get some more uh, like harmonic diversion so to speak And you can see we can make some crazy modulation. I just put some uh, very simple LFO shapes in here, mostly sine waves. And one mod envelope. And and we already have some crazy some pretty crazy sound modulation going on here so yeah with uh, like six morphing options um, or seven if you count in right uh, you have a very high flexibility here in adventure to do some parallel morphing so uh, the morphing options and parallel morphing options in Aventure are really great, especially I think with regard to parallel morphing, Aventure is uh, the synth that offers the most most options. Pigment has four parallel options, but it's also a little bit limited in what you uh, specifically can do. Um, Wavetable, Vital and Falcon only have two parallel morphing options and Serum and Icarus as I have talked about a lot, I only have one morphing option, uh, one morphing parameter that you can use at the same time. Um, here, it uh, you can flip uh, through everything here, but you have many options, but only one parameter that you can use at any one time. Yeah, as you can hear, um, the sound can get uh, very crazy and complex very fast when you use these six or seven morphing options in Adventure. And this is really, uh, yeah, if you like parallel morphing of uh, the waveforms that you play with your wave table. And also, of course, you have some sequencing here with the waveforms that you can do. Uh, should just do something else. Yeah, yeah. The morphing is so strong now, you don't hear the differences in the waveform in the wavetable right now. Because, uh, as I showed you here, the wavetable stands pretty, uh, stays pretty constant throughout all the waveforms. And uh, you only have some little deviations here, but basically it's a uh, that's uh, like a square wave with uh, some peaks, mm. um, uh, valleys, uh, dips or notches. And yeah, that's why here in this case, it doesn't even matter very much what you do here with the, with the wave table. Because uh, the morphing influence is much, much more important here with these uh, six morphing options that we're using. Okay, enough about adventure. So here with the uh, pigments, 
You also see a display of your waveform. You can just drag it uh, in this this window, like in uh, Samurai Colors. And you see it already scans through the position here. So you see, uh, here's some uh, small uh, changes in spectrum uh, in tonality. You also see it here in the EQ. And right now we haven't applied any uh, morphing options. Uh, you can apply all um, the modulations very fast in pigments. You just click on one of the modulators down here. And you have an interesting selection of modulators here. First your MIDI stuff. And uh, here envelopes, LFOs, only three LFOs. But uh, you get functions here. And these basically uh, can also work like wave tables are a little bit more complex, I would say. And here in the LFOs, you can make some changes here, which is nice. You can change the waveform here. You can morph through the waveform, so to speak. And here you can set your LFO points. Uh, your LFO curve points. And you also have random generators, which is nice. Three different random generators with different options. And you can also combinate uh, different modulators. And you can select different modes of uh, combination. Um, have a source modulator and a mod modulator. So you combine two uh, different kinds of modulators. This is uh, something in Serum, you can do it with a matrix. You know. Yeah, let's try uh, the different modulators. We have LFO1 on wavetable position, so let's use LFO2. Switch to the LFOs. This is a simple triangle. Let's use the uh, sine wave here. And when you select a modulator here in pigments, right, have to select, have to get this window, and you can track up the knob and it automatically generates your here you also have uh, some side chaining that you can do with the modulator so let's drag some morphing in here Face mod, can also do a random. Let's delete this and use the third. This is very fast. So for the third uh, modulator, third LFO, I'm using face distortion. decide how the modulator is affecting the face distortion. And here's the general target. And this one is the amount. So let's put this also on the amount. This is so fast. And let's also 
put the wave fo uh, folding with the same. Yeah, here you get a much stronger effect. And if you use the side chaining here from LFO1. Yeah, now you hear it on LFO1, it's here at the peaks, and you also see it here in the visualization, the wave folding gets much stronger, so this is basically just a combination, and like you can do it here. But here in the combinate you uh, have crossfade sum, difference multiply, lag and so on, so you can use different modes of combining the two signals from two oscillators. Of course you can also combine like an envelope with an LFO and a function with an LFO and so on. Yeah, I think we covered everything, modulation, uh, import and the nice morphing options here. Here you can also cross mod from engine 2 from the second engine and of course in pigments uh, you not only have a wavetable oscillator you have some analog uh, have sample player harmonic oscillator and yeah you have uh, some nice nice option options of course with the wavetable editing in serum and icarus uh, you can also go extremely complex or uh, also in vital but pigments offers like uh, different different kinds of engines, which is nice. And for the uh, um, sample uh, oscillator here, which is also really nice, you have a granular function. So this is also a sample oscillator, it's also like a granular oscillator at the same time. This is uh, pretty unique for... Uh, Pigments only Falcon also has um, granular oscillators. Our oh, adventure probably too. Yeah, uh, yeah, it also has granular oscillators. Uh, I haven't done much granular stuff in adventure so far. Yeah, let, let's go to the third uh, synthesizer. Again, we look at import, modulation, and wave uh, form morphing. And you see, we have our basic concentrated wave that only has a little bit of um, development in it, but it's a very static, I would say, wave table as uh, compared to some other stuff you can do. Uh, so importing is very simple. Just drop it here. This is a single cycle waveform and a Falcon recognizes it as such. If you drop the wavetable here, you'll get the full wavetable. Uh, now um, the modulation, maybe I'll start from Enip patch here to show everything you have to do. Um, you have to click on empty part, continue, and here are your oscillators. You can put it like that on the keyboard. And then you get your basic sine oscillator. Take your wavetable in here and make this a little bit lower and yeah that's it for importing just drag and drop you don't have uh, options like in adventure you have the option between sample or wavetable in import in falcon you have to um, 
do different synthesis uh, options by selecting a different uh, module here. Uh, Falcon is more um, modular as compared to the other synthesizers we have looked so far. And yeah, if you select your wavetable module, just drag and drop your wavetable in here or a single waveform, but then you don't, of course, need a, a wavetable oscillator. Oh yeah, of course you can load interesting waveforms, but you can't use the wavetable um, scrolling or position changing that we have here. So if we want to add modulation in Falcon, it's a little bit more complicated as compared to Serum, uh, Icarus or Vital. You uh, can go here to internal modulation. If you only want to use it in this program, you can go to program. But here you have nice options, parametric LFO, multi LFO, multi envelope, uh, normal LFO and so on. And here you can add, uh, add LFO points. But you have to get used to it probably. I had to get used to it coming from other synthesizers and um, how the mod modulation system works. You always have to right click then add modulation and other synths. You just drag and drop. But of course the advantage is that you can put a lot of different modulations in here. You can modulate from uh, for key groups, uh, for layers, for programs, and you have all these kinds of op options here, including random uh, random stuff. Um, these are envelope generators, multi-envelope you also have. Now we combine um, one ah here they are oh my god it's been a while since i have used Falcon. Uh, so here you see the two uh, multi envelopes that you have and um, a simple amp envelope and to apply these to a different control you can switch on the fm module here the death down Add modulation layer, and then here you have your multi envelope here. This uh, this times uh, multiplication option here is pretty nice. Also have some options here, like how you uh, how the waveform that modulates uh, the frequency of your wavetable oscillator uh, is generated. But harmonic gives like, gives pretty nice results. Chromatic is a little bit less harmonic. Yeah, you add octaves, octaves plus fifth, fourth, and Yeah, you hear it better, better with uh, just a little bit of... And here you can fine tune it, which is cool. of course is very nice for frequency modulation. And of course you can modulate um, these param uh, parameters too. Yeah, so this is our first uh, morphing option here, the FM module in the wavetable oscillator, which is pretty deep, I would say, for a morphing option in a wavetable oscillator. Uh, of course, you have to think about it. Falcon is a beast of a synth with many, many different uh, oscillator modules, and that they included an FM module this deep in the wavetable oscillator is pretty awesome. You also have a wavetable and uh, an FM oscillator here. I'll show you very quickly. This has very similar options to the FM you got in the wavetable oscillator. So 
I basically uh, very rarely use a uh, FM module here. Only if you want to really use four different sources for FM. With Wavetable, uh, using the FM on top of a Wavetable, you generate it in something like Icarus or Serum. Uh, of course, gives a lot of options for yeah for sound design. Um, yes, uh, the second uh, morphing option you have here is phase dis distortion. Near it a little bit. Full spike modulation. Bend, bending of the waveform. Some format, format changes. I think this is like symmetrical form. Fuzzy gives a nice distortion effect. Resonant form. Yeah, it's also lots of resonances. Um, yeah, can do a lot of uh, morphing with these different options, as you can see. Let's just assign another modulator here. To layer. Let's take a simple LFO. So here's our multi envelope. Another multi envelope, and here, yeah, this is on layer level, and this I added on program level. The, so this one I can use in another uh, program, uh, in another. Uh, no, this one uh, I can use in the whole program. This one I can only use in this layer. A little modulation here, I don't want such a big influence. Yeah, so you see you have lots of modulation options and a nice FM module and additional phase distortion that you can use as morphing options in Falcon. Ooh, how complex this synthesizer is. Um, this it's just a, a small part of it, so it's very nice that they included it, but Venture has more morphing options in, um, in terms of what you can use parallel, and Serum and Icarus have uh, many more options uh, that you can only use one at a time. But this is really nice, uh, you have a nice FM module and a wavetable oscillator, so this is really something to reach for when you want to do some specific sounds. Okay, uh, let's switch to the fourth and last synthesizer I want to talk about today. And again, it's very simple to import waves. Oh, this is interesting, it cut my wave in two parts. It's probably too small, it uh, probably wants to cut cut the wave uh, somewhere to produce a wave table. This is very interesting. Yeah, but when you put in the complete wave table, it reads it correctly. And uh, Live's wave table module is also pretty capable. The modulation, uh, you can just drag and drop here to the parameters. But as soon as you click on a parameter, it shows up here. And then you can just put in one of the two LFOs. Or one of uh, the three envelope generators. 
So of course the two LFOs are pretty limited, but uh, and it also doesn't have some multi-stage stuff. But you can use all Max for Life modules, uh, of course, and use it on on the different uh, knobs and parameters you have in Life's wavetable synthesizer. But let's check out the FX, FX options here. Put in a little bit, but we are at none. Put in FM. FM pitch, ah, the amount is at zero, of course. Ah, no, that's amp, right? I'm wrong here. I have to click here first. And here you see oscillator 1 FM pitch is assigned here, and oscillator 1 FM amount is the second knob here. Why is that not reacting to my LFO? We have to stop and play again. This is a little bit strange. Yeah, this is just this. Not that works. Modulation assignment here doesn't seem to work. Let's take this. No. It's a negative ones. Hmm. This is a little bit strange. Probably my fault. But I can't seem to modulate the second knob right now. Hmm, this is really strange. Now I click here, address, shows up and I can modulate. Same for Only my sync, the second, second morph knob of this uh, morph, morph module here doesn't seem to react to any input in the modulation matrix. This is a little bit strange. Not completely sure what's the reason for this. Try it with an external LFO. Yeah, with an uh, external LFO, or it's a live internal LFO, but not an LFO in the synthesizer. It's just an additional LFO I put in, like a Max for Life device. That works perfectly. I don't know if you see what I'm doing wrong here with uh, this line. Uh, just write me in the comments, I guess. Um, but you can see you can at least modulate it with uh, Max for Life devices. That's no problem. And the Max for Life devices are, anyway, they are better than uh, the simple oscillators uh, that you get here, I think. Oscillator 1, oscillator 2. I switch this off somewhere. Why is it working now? No. No, this is controlled by the LFO, so I can change it here. I have to change it here with the offset and switch this on again. Um, yeah. A little bit strange. Please tell me what I'm doing wrong. But apart from that, I think you can see what you can do with um, Life's own wavetable synthesizer. That it cuts uh, the single cycle wave in half. Probably wants to produce a wavetable 
Um, you don't have many effects or anything else. You just have like two os uh, oscillators, wave table oscillators, and uh, a small modulation matrix with three envelopes, two LFOs, no special stuff uh, such as in Falcon uh, or in Pigments or Avenger with the mod envelopes and pigments with the combinators and randomness and everything. But of course, with Max for Life, you can always edit uh, all the, the important knobs here. You can access with um, Max for Life modulators. Yeah, I think that's it for today. I showed you how to import, modulate and morph wavetable sounds in Avenger Pigments, Falcon and Wavetable. And the last synthesizer I want to talk about next time, which is of course like the occasion for this whole series, uh, the inclusion of Metasounds Wavetable in the Metasounds uh, system in Unreal Engine. Um, I'm looking forward to that, uh, testing it out a little bit, I already played around a little bit, but I'm, uh, yeah, I'm gonna check it out more for uh, the video I'm doing on it. And I'm also going to try to import uh, wavetables into it and you're going to see that it's a little bit different uh, from the wavetable synthesizer plugins uh, you have in your audio work, uh, workstation, but um, it's still a very interesting and capable uh, new addition to the Metasound system. So I'm looking forward to talking about that in the next part of the series. And then in the final part, probably the final part, I'm going to compare the different synths. Of course, I personally think all these synthesizers are great. They all have their pros and cons, advantages and disadvantages. And I'm going to make four groups of synthesizers and also talk about some others that I have not included in this test or in this yeah, series of videos. And I'm going to build like four groups of wavetable synthesizers that you can reach for or that you can start with depending on yeah what you want to do, where your preferences are, what your skill level is and so on. So I'm looking forward to the next two videos on wavetables. And thank you for listening today. I hope you learned a little bit and see you next time, hopefully. Bye-bye.